previously in the last video. Oh, we actually managed to survive this one. No thanks to you, Lavina. Hey, don't blame me. I freaking got paralyzed as shit. What kind of snakes are these? And now back to the present. <laughs> Who is this dude? Isn't he, is he just a pretend dude? No, oh, this is guy. Come for another round, four of our pharaoh. You'll never win, Thief King, for I'm more worthy for the throne. I think not. For you see, I have a macho body which makes me harder. That's why I'm more suitable for the throne. Somebody got me from the unholiness. Who needs protection when we can just beat that wine car? So you want to fight? I'll gladly grant your wish before we start this battle. Could I have a hug? What the carpola? Hug. Did we? Hug him? No! No, Philly! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Stranger danger! Don't hug him! You can have the skin! Does this happen often? Fine. Don't hug me! And your soul shall be sent to the Shadow Realms! You mean hell? No, it's the Shadow Realms! Shut up! Confuse him. Confuse this bitch. You can't get confused. Oh well, heal him. Paralyze. Try paralyze. Okay, now we can do whatever we want with him. Yeah, just just lay into this dude. Lay into him. I'm just I'm just spam pressing. Banishment this world. Yeah, this is my theory. Bonus set. What? What? up too. Mm -hmm. Hey, what the hell is my level up? Sorry, brother, you went in the party. Ah, oh, fuck. Junk shamish! How did you beat me again? This is madness! No, this is... Wait, what the hell is this place again? Madness. This... <laughs> is... Exodia Obliberate! Oh! A one turn kill? What a pee! Why didn't you use it earlier? Eh? Is it all the. Awesome! And that's why I used the bell. Sweet! Thank you for helping me get to get back my throne and be Pharaoh again. You're our heroes. Well, it's part of our daily quest. Right, Feliciano? Eh? Yeah. Well, random quest or not, you guys are heroes. Both the wizard and his right-hand man glanced at each other and grinned. For another quest done, Feliciano couldn't help but let all his small laugh. He never had this much fun in his entire life! He often wishes that these times never end. As for Arthur... What is this, Italia? Huh? Oh, crap. Oh, shit. The real final boss appears! Does Rito Hitaria find we found his pack of ruses? This music seems to play whenever they appear, like, Oh no, the bullies are being the crap out of us scene. Music theme. Who are those? 
There's some jerkers from school. Mm, school, huh? What are you guys doing with Hitaria? Italia? You don't know? You didn't run from Japan, school. Hitaria means useless Italian. Useless? But he's our main healer! How could- How the hell could he be useless? Well, guess what? I am a salty DPS! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Useless? Mm. That's weird! Wait, I've seen you bunch before. You're the guys who run around the park playing princess and dragon. Crappy fantasy. Copy? So these are the babies you're trying to defend back then, Hitoria? Babies? Mm. What a bunch of losers. Those are. You've gone too far, ducks! <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit, Arthur is gonna kick some ass! <laughs> What was that for? You mock my right hand man! You're dealing with the supreme sorcerer! This is not the type of your fantasy gig, Caterpillar! Supreme- <laughs> You're a nerd! Stop it! Leave him alone! You think you're a tough guy, huh? How about we settle this in the door? What do? Are you challenging me in the children card game? No. Hand in hand like a knight. But aren't you Sorcerer Arthur? You're not built with the- Tough guy, huh? Fine, I'll humor you. Maroon Rock. Midday. What? You me to here after school. Oh shit, they're going to scrap! Fine, then. Arthur, you don't have to do that, you know? I'll do what I want, Feliciano. And I want to help you. Huh? I... I'll be fine. Bruh, it's two of them against one of you! He'll be fine. Feliciano sometimes wonders, how can this boy keep giving him these warm feelings? Those trembles in his hand, it's when he punched Katsu, those sparks in his eyes filled with determination, that gentle smile of reassurance. Everything Arthur says, everything Arthur does, it all sparkles so brightly. Too bright for him, but Feliciano likes that. It's already late. Let's go home, Philly. Yeah. See you at the mile, guys. Let's go, Gupta. My papa made duck of his. But I want kebab. Mm. See you tomorrow. <gasps> Damn! Arthur's gonna scrap tomorrow. Oh my god, this is such a great episode. I hope I don't regret- I'm not gonna regret bringing Lovino along. Okay, let's go home. It was fun lapping with you, brother. Uh, sir. The dub- the epic dubstep is still playing. Grandpa. Okay, that's the grandpa's room. That's baby George's room. That's Lovino's room. And we are gonna sleep for tonight. Is it bedtime? Yeah. Good night. Cherry goes in. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, they're along. They come along. They came along. So they're gonna go to the place to scrap. Hello there. I'm here to guide you to the dual arena. A location? My unlock. The pirates go to die. Reality be rent. Snaps break. Banishment to this world! 
We are gonna scrap. We are gonna scrap. I'm not sure if this is. Aw, the dubstep's over. You know, let's get on. Let's finish what we started. Enter Maroon Rock. Yes. Let it begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's the Ten Dual Commandments! Okay, since considering the situation, let's do a life up. Along with a magic up. Start the duel. Yes. Time to d -d -d duel! Look him in the eye, aim no higher. Summon all the courage you require. Then count! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten paces fire! Okay. Take this, bitch! Okay, heal myself, heal myself, heal myself. Meiji rest. What does that mean? You're gonna. You restored yourself? He can't get paralyzed for some reason. Oh god, this is gonna be difficult. Okay, thunder, thunder. Get ready to feel my thunder, bit. You healed yourself! Boy! Okay, there. He's paralyzed. First, I gotta heal myself. Thunder. 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 Taste my fury, motherfucker! <laughs> okay. Victory. <gasps> that will be useful. Phase blessing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Lee, look, we won. Yippee, score one for the supreme saucer. There, Arthur. You did well, Caterpillar. <sighs> Arthur? Why? <gasps> Arthur. He collapsed. Hey, what's wrong with him? Arthur, please. I, I can't. My just Gupta, help me get him to the hospital. Vero, find his parent. Arthur! You do need to go home. G but go, I'll tell you tomorrow. Both of us could only stand there and watch as the other kids handle Arthur. My hands were on Feliciano's soldiers, holding him back, but I could feel him trembling. It was terrifying. Arthur's emerald eyes were glazed over and he kept making facial expressions that looked like he was either going to throw up or scream. I thought he was going to die. I thought he was going to die. Wait. That's it? Well, yes, this is just a demo. You can't just end this with a cliffhanger. Well, some stories are meant to end on another time. Gosh, you're a prick. And I love you too. I heard that. Shut up, Gio. Yes! I loved this game. I loved it. It was awesome! This is an awesome game! Like, holy dang, you guys put so much end effort, so much love and care into this! 
like, the story made me feel! Ugh, it had so many feels, it had, like, so much adventure, so much... And like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And like the scripts, the scripts were good. I really liked the main menu, the main menu scripts and stuff. The battle system, well, personally, I, I don't really like t active time battles, but you know, it was workable this time. It was good this time. I, I managed to get the hang of it. And okay. And also the character developments, I mean, the characters in it. There are some characters that were, you know, not seen that much in HEDA games. And then other characters that, you know, are prevalent, but you made them feel so... Mm. I love the characterization. And like, the writing, the parts where it looked like Lovina was writing, it really added to the story, evoked feelings. It... And like... It made me want to see what happens to their friendship between Arthur and Feli. I don't want their friendship to ever be end or be tarnished. I, it's so precious. I just love them. I just love everyone so much, except for the two bullies, of course. But still, oh my gosh. So yeah, and the mapping. I think McPie Jeff did that. You you did a good job with the mapping. Like that was it, I. I really liked the settings and stuff, especially the, with the mystical settings. It looked like a lot of work was put into it. So I applaud you and like the puzzle. And also, it wasn't just the battles; it was the puzzles too. You kind of made you think. And. Uh, the story just gave me so many feels. So much nostalgia. So much... Uh, made me feel like a kid again. So yeah, I really love this game. And I can't wait until the part 2 and the extended version comes out. You guys, thank you so much for making this game. Thank you. And thank you to the creators of the Milk Silk Jam for... Making this game be a real- helping make this game be a reality through the contest and stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah. The only complaint I had was, I guess with, you know, the saving before each chapter. Like, I get that it's to make it more challenging and stuff, but sometimes it just feels- felt kind of, you know, aggravating to have to go over all the huge cutscenes before you go to the actual adventure and stuff. So it would have been nice if I could have saved a teeny bit more often, but that that's just me. And... Hmm. I don't know, maybe with the bullies... I guess they're there to make con conflict and stuff? I don't have much of a problem with that, though. Like, But, you know, yeah. I really like this story, though. I really like this game. I can't wait to see more of it. So... Until then... I'll see you in the next game. This is Zan's Zippet Kid, signing off. <laughs>